Hello everybody, welcome to another Full Sail Review, title is Work in Progress, so if it's changed the time you're watching this, well, it's whatever it's called now. Today is looking at Cook, Serve, Delicious 2, the sequel to Cook, Serve, Delicious, obviously. Uh, as always, I'm going to kind of start this off with a very short, short review, or the, 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 overview, whatever you want to call it, conclusion, there we go. I could figure out the word if I went through about 40 of them, right? Suboptimal, baby. Uh, and the basic conclusion of this game is, do you like Cook, Serve, Delicious? You're like this. There's more foods added to it. What the differentiation is between them is questionable. Uh, I haven't played a ton of them, so it's hard to say, but there's like eight or nine different versions of like soup, and I'm like, eh, is there really that much difference in the uh, types of soup? I kind of my feeling there isn't. But nonetheless, there's much more uh, food options available. You have a few new modes. Um, you can now work in other restaurants in the tower and build up your restaurant, which is uh, something we're talking about as well. You uh, do get to actually design your restaurant this time a little bit more than uh, you did in the original Cook, Serve, Delicious. The mechanics have added the new holding station mechanic. They've changed some of the chore mechanics. They've uh, done a little bit of a change as to some of the staple food mechanics. They're... Not a lot of changes that I've, of the ones I've played. Um, one of the good ones I'll get into real quick is uh, Chicken Breast now actually shows um, tenderizer marks. So you can kind of see how many times you've tenderized it, which is kind of a nice change. Uh, artwork is different. That's changed quite a bit. I actually do like the new artwork. But there you go. So my assumption is it is $8 right now on Steam. And we'll take a look at that at the end. I'll show you it on there. At about 40% off. So that might sway your opinion if you're not that big of a cook serve delicious person if you're really really into it like i was you might find this great uh if you aren't super into it it's kind of like oh there's something i like to play in the background or you know play when i have a few minutes but i'm not really planning to spend a ton of time with it you might want to wait for it to go cheaper or show up in a humble bundle or something eventually but and that's just like so just because of the price it is probably worth eight dollars but again we're talking about eight dollars is a lot of stuff <laughs> Not as much as it used to be, but there is still a lot of stuff, and I can see where you could say, okay, this isn't my super best, you know, favorite, this is something I'd play when I only have 15 minutes, then yeah, I can see $8 might be a little much for you, and you can go uh, get something like Go Sir for a dollar. Well, yeah. Oh, Sir, the Hollywood Roast is what, like one ninety nine, Close enough, $2. Hey, if $2 food can count as a dollar menu these days, then $2 can count as a dollar, goddammit. Finish off my coffee there, and then I gotta go get more. I also got to order food from Uber Eats. So I could make a video on that. I'm sure you'd love that, right? Hey, uh, while we're talking about food, uh, did you know Uber Eats likes to know? Oh, I haven't tried it yet. I got free to live with, though, so we're going to try it. There's a place I want to go to that has shit all for parking. There's like 10 parking spots for this entire plaza, and so it's it's a hellhole to build to. So it's like, mm, that's one place I want someone to deliver it from. Anywho, I'll stop rambling here. Let's first take a look at the options, because we do... Not at all influenced by other YouTubers. You have a shit ton of graphic options. You can go up as far on resolution as 7680 by 4320. Couldn't tell you what that is. I'm, uh... I'm not that cool. I'm too old school. I'm like... 1080's fine with me. I don't know what everything else is. Obviously change the screen type. I had a uh, window. That's why I just kept it in borderless window. I just wanted to full screen it so it was, uh... Looked better on the recordings. Uh, you have V-Sync, food, blah blah blah. You have these background changes. I kept background FX on medium because that's what it was on when I play started it. I don't know. It runs fine, so I don't know if I really need to change that. Audio options are all turned really, really down for me because I always turn them down. Start, finish, rush hour text. You can turn off strobe lights if you can if you're prone to seizures. Um, I guess if you don't like rodents or bugs, they'll replace the image. Uh, yeah, they use Japanese text for start finish. Don't ask me why. Uh, the Japanese sisters so off the Japanese text as well for the rush hour thing. And then we of course can map our controls to their keyboard. You can actually use a gamepad. You can use mouse. Apparently, it also has touch screen support now. I don't have a touch screen, so I can't tell you yeah, crap about that. We're gonna hop in though to campaign. Uh, that's social media. We're already on social media. And you see, first of all, we have player options. You can actually play local co-op. Um, I can't remember if you can do that in the other game, but you can in this game. And you can pick which 
what they what their control type, what they're used. One of you will use one, we'll use the other. And you can select your chefs. Um we have a local co-op and switch. I don't want to switch my chef, but you can see we have all sorts of different We fast forwarding through all of them. You see we have a bunch of different chefs. That can be your avatar. I don't think they do anything other than be your avatar. And here's the food catalog, as I was mentioning, there is a shit ton of it. There's a whole bunch of we've got chili, chowder, gumbo, uh soup, just a regular soup, stew, yeah, chicken strips, corn dogs, egg drop. French toast, etc., etc. You, you get what I'm going. You got meats, pizza by the slice. You got a bunch of breakfast. You got dessert stuff. You can kind of mix if you wanted to. You can have breakfast, dessert, and lunch things. You got hamburgers, hot dogs, grilled chicken sandwiches, fried rice, etc. You have a ton. Meatloaf. Uh, two of the changes with food is there are now, because of the holding stations, there's items that can be. Um, use the holding station optionally you don't have to use them these are a lot of your grill items and sometimes some of your um, fried items uh, these optional foods time how to phrase this so the thing with holding station optional foods is you can cook them to order or you can throw them in a holding station like your McDonald's um, sometimes doing the McDonald's thing actually is really useful for rush hour when you have when you know like there's a one of the restaurants you work you can work in in this game and I'll get to that in a second is a hot dog place so a lot of times that will give you a warning an hour before rush hour so I'll set up uh, at least a holding station of hot dogs so when rush hour comes I can just quickly get through those hot dogs instead of having to cook each one individually and gobbledy bobbledy boobity boop some foods require it like corn dogs the soups muffins the meats etc these you set them up and then they have to be have to have them in a holding station. If you don't have any in a holding station, you gotta make some in the holding station before you can serve it. But they're very, very useful in that you can just basically serve them. I mean some of you have to do extra steps like this, you have to put corn dog, you have to put ketchup or mustard, I don't know. <laughs> but some of these I guess you don't even have that extra step. Um I've played with a lot of the other well, pretzels, like for example, you just quick serve them. Um foods do have a time on how long they can be in holding stations. Some can be held longer than others. Like, let's see this. Like this one stays fresh for a very long time, so you can have, um, you don't have to constantly be placing the holding station where others expire quicker. Oh, uh, let's see. This, like, says this, these are the same thing. Um, classic food from Cook, Serve, Delicious has a benefit. Let's see if we can find one. It has... Like some of these are micro servings, have small servings, so you have to keep, so you have to make them a lot as well. I'm trying to remember what's one that expires really quickly. I don't think we have one. Um, well, that's a slow cook. You have some that are slow to cook, which can suck for prep stations. They'd have, uh, if they're not really hold very long. Here we go. That's slow cooker. Uh, that is two stages. I can't find one now, but there are ones in there, trust me, that are like. Whoa, god damn, that is over 15 recipes. Yeah, that's one thing to add is recipe overload, complex steps, uh, little things to help you know what's going to be a pain in the ass to cook. <laughs> so you don't end up buying soup and wanting to uh, smash your head against the keyboard. This whole. That's a. Uh, if you've played original Cook Serve Delicious, you, you'll get that. Soup sucked ass is basically the joke. I never even did soup. I tried the practice and I'd heard beforehand people were sucked. And I was like, nope! I never actually did soup. Uh, lasagna's back. Actually, doesn't have complex on there, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, uh, any foods that are classic at Cook Serve Delicious will give you a 12% boost. I think lasagna needs a holding station. And then there's some that, you know, don't use holding stations at all. See this one, complex bits. You have to do a lot of crap. There's new settings as well. As you see, there's extra prep, stadium classics. Uh, what choice do we have? We have staples, healthy eats, breakfast bonanza, rainy bites, warm eats, uh, late night meals, cold treats, dessert classics, uh, super meat boy is one they have, which is, you know, a bunch of meats, seafood classics, stadium classics, party foods, that party foods, uh, give you 10% boost because everyone loves them, to go, uh, as an instant 4% boost. 
Chef Special. Patience increased by three seconds if it's on your menu. All time classics, which are, yeah, those, never mind. We're gonna talk about that. Um, staples don't get menu rot. Healthy Eats are from last year. Remember that? Breakfast Bonanzas give you 8% um, buzz in the morning. Dumping one of those can be useful if you want to bump your buzz in the morning. Then you can have another meal on top of that and on top of that. Of course, we're eating one we've had before. Warm Eats are when it's chilly out. Late nights do better at night. They're putting yeah after seven. Old treats are good when it's hot. Dessert classics, uh, two or more desserts to your active menu give 8% boost. Seafood classics, three or more seafood classics give 8% buzz. I think meat's four. Stadium classics, three or more give you an 8% buzz. You can kind of customize your menu as well and kind of what you want to go for. And like I said, we have a shit done. We have a bunch of revenue unlocked. Uh, a couple other things they have is they have side dishes, which basically come, uh, increase people's willingness to wait, and they also may tip you more. They go those go into your holding stations as well, so you have to kind of micromanage whether you want side dishes or, you know, what you want to hold and what you don't. That's why optionals are some. That's why you wouldn't always have optionals in your bin, basically, because you also have other stuff you want to get in, like side dishes and such to uh, increase your... Increase your profits. Increase your profits and hopefully get more tips. You have drinks. Okay, we have a bunch of different drinks here. Same thing. There's are just, uh, they're kind of like a side. Um, I've only done the soda, which basically just means I have to go sit there and, uh... You just have to refill the ice machine every so often. And of course we have our entrees, which are our regular foods from the last year. Alright. Um, equipment we don't have as much this time that I've seen. You can see here we have different modes. You can play, you can play classic, which is the traditional standard, which uh, does not fact allows you to create menu without buzz. Stress, which raises buzz to 150. Then removes rush hour, and then we have classic again. You can set how many prep stations you have, apparently. The maximum I have right now are six. Four, but you can cut it down if you want to. We can choose uh, right now at least three different foods, a side, and a drink. And we can actually set different menu presets, which is kind of cool. As you see here, I have subs, cereal, pretzels, mac, and cheese is the only side I have. Then I have my D menu one, my E menu one, and that's all I have right now. And you can see uh, it tells us how much buzz in the bottom there. Can actually go into this to see what it is. Equipment is pretty much just all our chores. I've added a couple bug lamps and roach spray. Those are really easy though. Dishwashing has changed to where it's actually a pain in the ass. I hate dishwashing now. But as you see, all equipment updates are basically just upgrading our chores to make a uh, have to do them less. And I'm not sure if there's any change that. You also have yum levels. This is what this is. As your yum level, yum yellow, yeah, the wow. Fuck yum levels now. <laughs> As your yum level goes up, you unlock new decorations, and I believe you can start unlocking stars at certain points. Decorations, you can see here, and we have the designer. This is where we get to design our restaurant. You see, I've kind of designed my restaurant a little bit already. Uh, you can actually change restaurant slots too. I can make a completely new restaurant like that. I have different restaurant styles. You decide, uh, I can put on some... I can put on uh, wall panels. So... I uh, don't actually have any backsplash right now. Floors, I just have the one surface. Windows, you can then use different window presets. Put in... Do, 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 like that. See how fancy that looks. You can see, of course, we have the circular windows already in our thing. There we go. Something like that. 
lights, you can add ceiling lights, you can add ceiling table lights, which is go over your table, and global lighting, don't ask me how that works. I think because I'm in medium it doesn't work. Um, we have objects, we can put in some columns. We can put in a column there. And there. We have holiday decorations. Seating, we can pick, we have tables, booths. All tables, we don't have any right now, but we can put in different tables. So, change our tear type over. We can put out on our tables. Change our counter, which is what you see in front here. I only have two unlocked right now. Put some art. We have different art. We have people pictures. Picture of the chef. Chefs. Yay. That. Aren't we fancy? Places, abstract, animals, historical, which a uh, historical society sends you just random crap. Sprays, we can put some cloud sprays on the wall if we want, which I have in my other restaurant. And then objects. And that's really about it, but you get to kind of at least design your restaurant. Um, as you continue to level up, you unlock more stuff. As you unlock more stuff, you obviously get more shit. Pretty obvious, that that's the most, like, up. Uh, obvious shit you can say we can hide the UI here for screenshots. So I can change slots back over to my original one that I have right now. I need some work, but there you go. So that's the new designer. I don't have a lot unlocked, so I can't show you a ton, but there you go, that's kind of the new designer idea. It's kind of a neat I know it's not I'm gonna put that. I drink some water. It's not super exciting, but it is kind of a cool addition. Just being able to actually design your restaurant this time. And... Actually, I don't think I... Oh, I do have the intro. I'll show you that real quick if you're curious. That's sort of what the story goes. I haven't seen it. Um, being like any other morning at Sh Sherry Show to Tower, which was our original tower, I don't remember. You rode the elevator up to your Platinum Star restaurant, cook, serve delicious, and reflected warmly upon your culinary brilliance and managerial prowess. Life was good. Without warning, police surrounded Sherry Soda Tower. It seemed company executives were siphoning funds from the corporation while at the same time incurring a staggering amount of debt which drained the accounts of the tower and all businesses inside. Everything was put up for federal auction. Cook served delicious was no more. Angry but determined to rebuild, you purchased a, modern, uh, a modest commercial space on the 52nd floor of the Tarragon Tower, the largest skyscraper in the city, packed with thousands of ravenous tenants. And it's here that you start a brand new cook serve delicious restaurant build it back to its former glory work in other restaurants to rebuild your finances and expand your culinary knowledge and cement your legacy as the best chef in the world good luck there you go so that's basic that's the uh, intro so basically that's why we have to rebuild everything is um i have those thing is i thought you were on a new tower so we'll go ahead and go is we're going to go to big's burgers here which i just unlocked do our first standard shift as you uh level up you unlock these different Rest, uh, different places to work at, as well as different types of shifts that kind of can change. You can see over here, for example, our first shift, we had that, and then it kind of changed. We added okra as a side, and then my last one I did, we didn't have any sides. We added funnel cakes and cheese chips. You can see then it expands some days. We get, towards the end, we get like six different things going. The sides plus drinks. Of course, we have a ton more of themed restaurants. They're kind of like, I guess, challenges in the old game, in a sense. Just uh, with more theming to them. And as you unlock medals, you get experience. You also get um, certain rewards for having a certain amount of medals. You see we have quests to do for those medals. Pops up. So get bronze, we have to have fewer than 8 bad ores. Silver, fewer than 5 average or bad. And perfect with no average or bad gets us gold. That's pretty much about normal. See if we get rewards at 6 or high, uh, six bronze medals or higher. We get another reward. Eight, we'll get another reward, and two gold medals, we'll get another reward. We'll start the day here, and I'll kind of show you. We'll start with our holding stations. We see we have no foods that require it. We do have ones we can optionally set up, and then we have our side dishes. So we're gonna set up some side dishes here. We're gonna do some fries. It will give you how many you're supposed, what you're supposed to do. These just randomly changed. Don't know why. That was the idea. Fries are easy now. You don't have to hold them down. Thank God. Um, we'll set up some tater tots as well. And if you want chicken nuggets, 
going to some nuggets. <coughs> Gonna meet Patty, Ryan Davis. Going. So you see the, the perp the uh, blue thing up there is how long that food will sit before it goes bad. Some more nuggets in down here. There we go. Simple enough. Alright, what do we want? We want meat patty, bacon, two cheese, tomato, and you'll see now you have different pages that will actually tell you on the thing the color, what page they require, which is kind of nice. So you aren't just hunting for them everywhere. Toilet. Or we got the breakfast sandwich here. Ham, egg, biscuit, there we go. I haven't had that one before, so I'm always going to cook that one. Okay, that's a new one. There we go, we got three meat patties, cook those. So burgers are about the same, you just have to kind of, things are now multiple page, so you have to kind of flip through the pages sometimes. Ham, egg, biscuit, there we go. But it is nice, it gives you the color, so if you're doing something really complex. One, two, three, bacon, lettuce, Swiss, um, fried egg, pretzel bun. You notice my pretzels are always on, um, shit, that's what I wanted to get done. I want to get some chicken nuggets in here. Shit, I wanted to get some burgers set up before. Ah, shit. I'm gonna get the six there. Trash that dice. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Where are some of those? Three. Meat, bacon. Lettuce, tomato. If you're ever wondering why I'm a little slow as I'm still trying to learn all these uh, bacon, 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 cheese, Swiss, regular bun. Um, oh shit, I messed up that one. Four. Meat, bacon, Swiss, pickles. Um, mushrooms, regular. There we go. Six up, one, two, three. Bacon, lettuce, Swiss. Friday, pretzel bun. That done. We'll get these breakfast sandwiches going. Um, egg, bacon. Some of the keys aren't the same. Well, some of the keys are the same, but some of the keys. Oh shit, my holding station's expired. We'll get back to those in a minute. Sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. Four, ham, egg, croissant. Two, Dishwasher checks. I don't want to really do that. Cause in the ass. There's not, there's not R. Three, six. There's the new dishwasher. Release, unload, sanitize. Good. Four, one, burger. Five, there you go. Meat, bacon, cheese. Lettuce, onions. They try to keep the, the keys the same over different things, which does make it easier to learn, but. Sometimes if you're trying to remember, it can be a little bit of a task. Egg, bacon, cheese, biscuit. Especially when you're doing something new the first time like this, it can be a little... Get the toilet. Toilets are about the same. They're really easy to do. Sausage, cheese, biscuit. That was easy. Um, I need to get holding station set up with my, uh... Pear tots. And fries. Three potato, two steak, french fries, done cook. Uh, honey station, three. Let's chicken nuggets going. Nuggets. Nugget, 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 done. Shit, four, get that cleared out. Two, nuggets done. Three, ham, egg. Ah, shit. That's messed up. I didn't see that. I don't know that I've got biscuits. I. Actually, that's actually simpler. Um, six can go. Five. Meat patties. Yeah, I messed that one up. That's right. Sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. There we go. Okay. Get those cleared out. And you see, that's where it makes it a lot easier. And these burgers, when I'm trying to get all these burgers running. Or clear that. Um, five. Or four. Meat, meat. Regular. There you go. Two, go away. One. Meat patty. Three, meat, meat, bacon, cheese, Swiss, regular. There you go. Ah, damn it! I messed that one up apparently. Meat, bacon, cheese, uh, onion, pretzel bun. 
Oh, that one was messed up. Meat, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. Bring them on. You can see we're having our sausage, egg, cheese, biscuit. Sausage, cheese, biscuit. There that all. See, that's where it makes it a lot easier. Whereas these burgers we're having to uh, have around with a lot. Meat, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Regular. There we go. Three. Meat, meat. Regular. There we go. Four, five. Clear those. Two. Meat, bacon, cheese, Swiss, base, pretzel. Open ice, then I. There you go. Um, four. There's our work strap one. It's really simple. Dunk. Three. Trash. Mash, 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 mash. That's, nice. That's new trash. Now we mash your trash every so often. Ham, egg, croissant. And we're done. We only messed up a couple orders. I guess that's not too bad. Hope those fries last for this sandwich. There we go. So we messed up three. So I'm not sure quite what I did. I'm sure if you're watching the video, you can go back and tell me. <laughs> but there's a uh, doing cook for hire. And there's kind of just the gameplay. As you can see, it's kind of gotten you got a lot of stuff spread over multiple menus now. But it does give you color coding to show you the menu, what page it's on, which is nice. Each page is color coded. And you kind of see where holding stations are actually kind of a really useful thing, and they're kind of interesting in that way that um, you can. Pretty much take a food like those chicken nuggets. Every time I was someone order chicken nuggets, it's like bam, done, bam, done. It makes rush hour a lot easier, not quite as overloaded at times. Like burgers were hell sometimes for rush hour, so being able to pre cook them can be very useful if you remember to do it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any crooks, so you couldn't see the uh, the change in that. But they actually changed the robbery thing, which is a lot nicer, a lot more fitting with the uh, gameplay style. So we got our bronze and silver. And we leveled up, so we unlocked a, a new mounted wall light, a new hanging ceiling light, a uh, picture of cats, another hanging ceiling light. We were young level 4, unlocked new chef for higher levels, and new expanded slots in our active menu. That's nice to have. We've now unlocked the Chinese food one. We could take a look at that if we wanted to. We may, because why not? <laughs> we know some checks, some substitutions, open daily, and on some holidays. Yeah, they have little. Um... <laughs> Just reading some of these, they actually have a little information like I like uh, in there. This chain is currently undergoing rebranding efforts due to Singer's self once again by reversing its identity as an early trend adopter to an outdated trend adopter with new outdated policies such as allowing customers to smoke inside and filling their walls with asbestos. <laughs> uh, this says early adopt technology trends such as finding vision free wireless internet before smartphone mobile devices. I <laughs> uh, see like Max Wieners. Max Wieners byproduct of fat rendering plant and Cahill, Kansas, which was diversified its holding when comfort food economy suffered a critical blow due to the organic food fad. Take food tender told. Fat winning plants could have it. In 2010, the All Wieners restaurant officially opened its doors. However, a hot Miami nightclub filed a, filed a lawsuit in 2013 on the name, grounds of names, leading the name to change the one we all know and love today. <laughs> the bags that we just worked at. Pig Square was covered under its own niche by encouraging customers to engage in gentle belts of fisticuff, believing violence would enhance hunger. Uh. Versus Spotlight 2024 when the release of a critically acclaimed documentary Sucker Punch Me, which follows S'mores Murloc as he attempts to eat at Big Spurs exclusively for 30 days without being physically assaulted. <laughs> Angry Murloc's girlfriend claims to become increasingly scary and jumpy while doctors urge Murloc to abandon his mission lest he unknowingly order a knuckle sandwich. Uh, in 2025, permitted all fights on Big Property. In 2031, the chain 
Especially put his finally past to bed by rebranding the restaurants in a similar fashion to the competitor it once tried so hard. Competitors it once tried so hard to deviate from. But it's ignoring success. Chili Bowl has gotten through and still means a cash, it's cash only off the books business model in every store. <laughs> So you see, they have kind of some play with some funds, and you can kind of see. And then, of course, you can also run your own restaurant. We've never opened up a fourth, so we can actually add on to this menu. We're going to add, let's see, we have. We don't really have any breakfast foods, so let's throw on some cereal. Any preset D, we have to go. Party food, we have that. We have pretzels. Let's add. We can add a dessert shooter, add a dessert in there. So we have sandwiches, desserts. Pretzels and cereal. Yum. Yeah, you got your sauce, but I'll stuck. There we got cereal, dessert, Salisbury steak, and we'll throw a pulled pork sandwich in. I think this one is supposed to be actually our little quick serve thing, so we'll throw a pulled pork in there. That's meant to be more of like our uh, restaurant y type service thing. I guess cafeteria, I don't know. Alright, I didn't think all these through, alright. Anyways. So we kind of got to see how the gameplay goes. Obviously, we aren't doing our own restaurant right now. Um, oh, we got another one from the Art Society. I did this one. was good. Found the ruins of Los Angeles, California, likely part of a 2001 mid-siesta cayenne terrible before the auto market collapsed 2026. Many car enthusiasts love tricking out their rides with fun accessories that didn't necessarily make cars drive faster but looked much cooler in appearance. This piece, known as a cap, was used to trick out a vehicle's tires, and is thought to be one of the most high-end options, as it is constructed out of shiny aluminum rather than plastic or wood. <laughs> That's uh, the hubcap that we got in our designer. They sent us. I was got a kick out of that. Where is it? Objects. No. Oh. Historical, there it is. Yeah, there's the hubcap. <laughs> and then, of course, now we got a French horn. Yeah, it's, got, it's still got some of that good humor in it. Oh, yeah, the uh, they call this same thing the gyrating pickle. <laughs> and while it's on screen, don't don't quit the game. <laughs> Alright, so... That's kind of a basic rundown of Cook, Serve, Delicious. As we said at the beginning... Summary. Because summaries always come in the beginning, shut up. Well, I guess we have a reason for that. And these, of course, never in-depth reviews, by the way. I should add that in the beginning someday. I will someday, but not now. As we said in the summary, though, if you like Cook, Serve, Delicious, you like Cook, Serve, Delicious, too. It just adds more to it. In my opinion, I think it makes a lot of difference. I won't say a lot of difference. That's the wrong way of phrasing that. It's better than Cook, Serve, Delicious. Cook, Serve, Delicious has its stuff, too. I mean, it's, it's still... It was still fine if you have Cook, Serve, Delicious, but I do think Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 improves on Cook, Serve, Delicious in a lot of ways. I like kind of the new holding stations are kind of a nice feature. Even if you can argue, you could probably get away without them. I, I still think they're a nice feature. The, kind of, the, new, the menu is definitely a lot more expanded. It feels like you have a lot more control, even if things are maybe not super different. You know, as I said, I haven't played with a ton of the food, so I'm not 100% sure how different, but I have a feeling that there's not a ton of different because I mean obviously like with soups how much different is soup going to be than chowder there might be a few different ingredients but I mean it's still freaking soup and the different meats like how different are those different meats that they offer going to be it's, it's kind of like yeah is it just more for more sake but it is nice to still to have the more it kind of makes for role-playing sense just practical sense it might not be as fancy uh, I do really like the uh, designer option in building your restaurant there's it's fairly simple to use. It's kind of cool, though, getting to build your uh, build your own little restaurant there. 
and the cook for hire is actually a lot more interesting than the challenge mode I think in the old game the challenge mode was fun but I do kind of like the more again the more role-playing aspect with cook for hire than say challenge mode was and of course you actually have a progressing system now that's tied to more experience than just you know meeting goals but as you meet goals of course you gain experience so either way it works out and that increases your stars so it kind of keeps the experience system but you feel and you don't have to work your own restaurant as well it helps so that you actually just gain experience for working doing any of the mission stuff in the game it seems like uh, hopefully they do bring back some of the challenge stuff and things that aren't in there and that may just be on low level that i haven't seen them that would be definitely those are definitely nice too but overall i'd, I'd say it's definitely adds on to what cooks of delicious had and it's certainly worth taking a look at um let's pull up the steam page as we always do at the end wow this video is 35 minutes holy crap there it is so you can see right now, Cook Serve Delicious 2 is 40% off, putting it at $7.79. Uh, you can also get, there's the Delicious Cooking Pack, which includes Cook Serve Delicious and Cook Serve Delicious 2, plus the uh, two soundtracks. And that's a uh, complete your collection bundle, so if you already own Cook Serve Delicious, I believe you get it. Or if you get the two soundtracks and Cook Serve Delicious 2 for 10 if I recall correctly. So you're not really... So if you're not interested in soundtracks, you're really not saving a lot. But if you already own the soundtrack, it will save you a little bit more money for uh, Cooks of Delicious. Let's say you already own the soundtrack for that. Or you just really like soundtracks. You want both soundtracks. It's $3 more for them. I mean, why not? As you can see, the uh, other price, it's normally uh, two ninety nine for that DLC. Of course, if you're wanting to save a little bit of money, let's go into a bundle. Well, I believe Cooks of Delicious is... Yeah, Cooks of Delicious is only $2.00. I said you can't go wrong if you want to just get if you uh, if you're looking to save a few bucks. Did you see my friends list? I already did, but it didn't really matter. But if you're looking to uh, let's switch over here. So if you don't want to spend the seven, like if you haven't played original Cook Serve Delicious and you're kind of on the fence, you're like, oh, it looks kind of cool, but I don't know how much gameplay I'm gonna get out of it. You you can't go wrong getting the original Cook Serve Delicious either at two dollars. Um, it's probably been bundled a few times as well, so you might even be able to find people with keys on sites and such for cheap. But for two dollars, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, if you haven't played any Cook Serve Delicious, if you already own Cook Serve Delicious one. Uh, and you enjoy it, I definitely say it's worth getting Cook Serve Delicious 2, but at the price, if it's a game that you mostly play in your little bits of, you know, in between time, like your downtimes at work or in between school or whatever you're doing, and it's only a, something you play for 15 minutes, I, you're well on your reason just to say, I have Cook Serve Delicious, I just can play that. Because at $7, it's not a. $7 is a little high to me for a game that you're just gonna, you know, every once in a while play when you uh, don't have a lot of time, but you just want to play something real quick because you, you got a little downtime. But if it's something you're really into, then yeah, definitely pick it up. So, and of course you can watch gameplay to see there and also look up blah 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 I'll stop rambling. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. That's our, our next full scenario review. Uh, we're gonna try and get Planet Coaster next. It's kind of tough because I have to uh, actually get more time in the game. I'm at about eight hours in Planet Coaster right now, and I feel like I have barely scratched the surface. I could give a very basic review, but there's certain things like management aspects I really haven't gotten too much into, so I feel like I wouldn't be giving you a full review. Um, of course, that's none of these are actually meant to be full reviews, and it's kind of the disclosure I should put in the beginning, but that's kind of... But still, I, I feel like I should play a little bit more just to give you a little bit more than just like, oh, here's the very basic impression. It's not like Cooks Are Delicious 2 here or Oh Sir, where it was kind of easy to get a very basic and after an hour or two, you kind of you kind of get the idea of how things go. So yeah, but we want to try and get Planet Coaster in. We also want to look at Park Attack just as a compare and contrast of those two. But I'm going to keep working on Planet Coaster and hopefully get to where I can... Uh, I feel confident enough to at least kind of show you that. And that's the same reason we have gameplay in here, by the way, if you're wondering. I try to do gameplay as well as kind of talk about the game just to... Again, give you a look at it as well, so you're not just listening to me say, it's like, well, after I played two hours, this is what it's like. It's like, here, take a look. Tell me what you think. Anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed that sort of non-detailed review. <laughs> in ne come back next time. Hopefully we have Planet Coaster, but it may change if I can't get enough, feel like I don't have enough time in it. Or I find something else that's short. In the meantime, I will catch everyone later.